What's good, family? What's good? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. <sighs> How y'all doing? Top of the morning. Top of the morning. I'm about to hire you up real quick. About uh, these comments from Reggie Bush saying that paying college athletes will create, I'm paraphrasing here, that paying college athletes will create more problems than already exist. Here's my take on it. I agree with him, and I agree with him for this reason. I agree with him because if you pay attention, look what's happened in the NBA the last 25 years with the high school to the pros. For every LeBron James, there's a thousand others who either completely fallen off by the wayside or have never gotten anywhere remotely close to where they should have been as per their talent because they was given so much too soon. I think the one drawback to paying college athletes is in particularly football, in particularly football, you're not gonna see the same drive and see the same effort that you see now. A lot of what you see out of these young brothers is the striving to get to the bag. Once they're already on campus, big man on campus, and legitimately getting 10, 20 grand a month for niggas who ain't never had shit before, legitimately, who've never had jobs, who come from impoverished areas, that's gonna be a lot to take on. That's gonna be something that makes a lot of these young brothers not push and not go as hard as they should because they're already financially reaping the benefits of their physical ability. I think that's what's gonna happen. You've seen this a lot in the NBA. You look how watered down the NBA is. And one of the reasons why the NBA is so watered down today is the 20, 20 plus, 25 years, maybe plus that, of high school to the pros and one and dones. If you look at NBA teams, there's a bunch of NBA teams with a bunch of young dudes figuring it out and seem more concerned in what they're doing that night than actually winning ball games. A lot of that is because just a rookie contract alone, you got the bag. Instead of being in college, you already got the bag. Now, I'm a proponent for paying college athletes because these brothers are being exploited. But the flip side to it is exactly what Reggie Bush is saying. That is the flip side. And we gotta call a spade a spade. That is what's going to happen. Nonetheless, I still think it's a necessary thing that needs to happen because we can't have young brothers so, so constantly, consistently be taken advantage of by the NCAA with no compensation. Because at the very least, if brothers don't achieve what their physical ability says they should achieve, you've gone a year or two making 10, 20 bands a month, you should be all right. You should try to learn how to take that and go somewhere else with it. Even if your sport of choice doesn't work out for you the way you want it to. People looking at the LeBron James model, and people I understand, LeBron James is an outliner. LeBron James is an anomaly. Stop comparing people to LeBron James. Stop it. Because for every LeBron, there's a thousand. Easy. There's a thousand who want to do that. Who want to be on it like that. And they're nowhere close. And there's no knock. It just, LeBron is great. It just is what it is. But I still say pay the athletes. 
give them the education they need to manage said funds. And um, we're going to have to deal with the consequences of it. But they deserve to be paid. Let me hear your take. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.